2100 hours Pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by daman zaman the headlines the turkish president arrived in istanbul this evening on a two day official visit to hold talks with the pakistani leadership Chairing a high-level meeting on price control in Islamabad today, the Prime Minister directed the provincial governments to formulate a national action plan within one week to check prices of essential commodities. The National Assembly unanimously passed a resolution today expressing solidarity with the government and people of China in their efforts to combat coronavirus. Pakistan says the American decision to sell integrated air defense weapons system to India will disturb the strategic balance in South Asia with security implications for Pakistan and the region. Four top American senators have expressed concern over the continuing detention of political leaders and internet curbs in occupied Kashmir. In the Kabaddi World Cup 2020, Pakistan beat Australia by 62 points to 25 in Festabad today. In the news in detail, the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has arrived in Istanbul on a two-day visit. Prime Minister Imran Khan and other senior officials received the distinguished guest at the Nur Khan Air Base. The First Lady of Turkey Amine Erdogan is also accompanying the Turkish president. Later on the Turkish president was accorded guard of honor at the prime minister's house. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is accompanied by a high-level delegation comprising cabinet members and senior government officials besides heads and chief executive officers of leading Turkish corporations during the visit prime minister imran khan and president rajab tayyab erdogan will have one on one meeting after which they will co-chair the sixth session of pakistan turkey high level strategic cooperation council in the joint cabinet format followed by signing of joint declaration president erdogan and prime minister imran khan will also address pakistan turkey business and investment forum which brings together the leading investors and businessmen from both the sides a number of important agreements and memoranda of understandings are also expected to be signed during the visit the two leaders will have a joint press takeout The president Dr Arif Alvi and his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan held a meeting at the president house in Istanbul. Earlier a warm welcome was accorded to the Turkish president and the first lady of Turkey Amine Erdogan on their arrival at the presidency. The president Dr Arif Alvi later hosted a banquet in honor of the distinguished guests. The president Dr Arif Alvi has summoned the joint session of the parliament tomorrow at 11 a.m. The Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan will address the session. Prime Minister Imran Khan has directed the provincial governments to prepare a national action plan within one week to check adulteration and inflation in the country. Chairing a high-level meeting in Islamabad today, he directed the chief secretaries of all the provinces to choke out an effective strategy and present a roadmap against hoarding within one week. The prime minister warned that strict action will be taken against the elements involved in hoarding of various commodities including milk, sugar, rice and meat. Imran Khan was given a detailed briefing on the measures regarding online delivery of commodities of daily usage, launching of a mobile application about prices and formation of farm markets to facilitate farmers in all the major cities of the country. The meeting reviewed various measures taken by the government to check adulteration, hoarding and inflation in the country. Briefing the media after the meeting, special assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting Dr. Pradosh Ashik Awan said the national demand supply cell is being established to stabilize prices of essential commodities. She said the meeting reviewed various measures taken by the government to check adulteration, hoarding and inflation in the country. 
The special assistant to the Prime Minister, Imran Khan, has expressed serious concern over prices of flour in Send. She said the Prime Minister directed the provincial governments to form a national action plan within one week to check the prices of various commodities. Replying to a question, Dr. Fridhar Sashikawan said the government is taking special measures to stop misusage of social media. The Minister for Economic Affairs, Hamad Azhar, says Pakistan's economic reforms program is on track and long-term development partnership with Canada will continue. He was talking to a high-level Canadian delegation led by the Deputy Minister of International Development of Canada, Leslie McLean, in Islamabad today. But the sites expressed the firm resolve to continue interactions at high level to better understand the development needs, opportunities of cooperation and investment in the emerging sectors. This is Radio Pakistan. The National Assembly unanimously passed a resolution today expressing solidarity with the government and people of China for their dedicated efforts and efficient policy to combat the coronavirus outbreak. The resolution was moved by Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz leader Khwaja Mohammad Asif. The resolution commended the efforts of the Chinese government for treating Pakistani citizens, especially students in the Wuhan city, just like their own nationals by providing them best possible care. The resolution said Pakistan stands united with China in this difficult moment of medical emergency and extends its full support to them in these testing times. The session was later adjourned to meet again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pakistan says the American decision to sell integrated air defense weapons system to India will further destabilize the already volatile region. At the weekly news briefing in Islamabad today, the Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Faruqi termed the American decision as disturbing. She said the sale of such sophisticated weapons to India will disturb the strategic balance in South Asia with security implications for Pakistan and the region. The spokesperson said South Asia cannot afford an arms race and conflict, therefore it is incumbent upon the international community to prevent destabilization of the region. She said the international community is fully aware of India's aggressive policy designs against Pakistan and the threatening statements of the Indian political and military leadership. Four top American senators have expressed concern about the continuing detention of political leaders and internet curbs in occupied Kashmir. The concern has been expressed by the senators from the Democrats and Republican parties in their letter to the American Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. They also expressed concern over the controversial Citizenship Amendment Act that triggered protests across India. The senators called for an assessment of the restrictions on communications in occupied Kashmir and the level of access given to independent observers, diplomats and foreign journalists. Over 12,000 Kashmiri detainees, including a large number of teenage boys, are presently languishing in different jails of occupied Kashmir and inside India. According to a report released by the Kashmir Media Service today, of them 900 are detained under the Draconian Law Public Safety Act. About or at least 600 of the detainees are imprisoned in jails inside India. The the detainees have no access to medical facilities and proper food. They are also not presented before courts on scheduled dates. The World Radio Day was celebrated across the world today to acknowledge the role of radio in awareness and ameliorating the life of the masses. This year's theme is Radio and Diversity. The theme focuses to celebrate humanity in all its diversity and provides a platform for democratic discourse. For the World Radio Day 2020, UNESCO has called on radio stations to uphold diversity both in their newsroom and on the airwaves. In Afghanistan, four militants were killed in an airstrike by the Afghan Air Force in western Farah province today. The strike targeted militants' vehicle which approached a security checkpoint in an area in Pushtarod district. And now Kabaddi. 
and the Kabaddi World Cup 2020 Pakistan beat Australia by 62 points to 25 in Faslabad today. Earlier, India qualified for the semi-finals in the Kabaddi World Cup 2020, beating Iran by 50 to 39 points in Faslabad this afternoon. In the second match, Germany defeated Sierra Leone by 43 to 14 points. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain snowfall over the hills is expected at isolated places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit, Baltistan, Kashmir and its adjoining hilly areas. Light rain is also expected in Islamabad and the Potohar region. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash radio pakistan news official